Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for the 12th of March, 2023. Once again, we're going to be using the Mystical Cats Tarot. So let's see what's happening for the day. All right, my lovelies, not quite as many cards as yesterday. Let me show you what these are. The Three of Cups. The Knight of Wands, the Empress, the Eight of Swords, the Hermit, my camera will focus, Consequences, which is the Justice card, Page of Cups in the Reverse, Chariot, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Earth reversed, Seven of Wands reversed, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Cups reversed, the King of Wands reversed. Two of Swords, the Lovers reversed, and the Priestess reversed. Okay, I, I actually kind of like this, and it's because of what you get. And what you get is actually in these first three cards, the Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Empress. You get to support, nurture, and for yourself, especially um, in your own self-expression. And I want to say also support your own personality. Um, you're, you're nurturing yourself, but also able to nurture others. So um, better give and take, as I said, self-expression. Showing yourself compassion, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, um, being able to also potentially have a creative surge. So for those of you that are having um, creative blocks, that will hopefully um, dissipate on a day like today. And the rest is all of how you get that. So, as I said, blocks, being stuck, Eight of Swords. Um, if we go within and realize what's causing us discomfort, what's no longer speaking to us, what's no longer supporting us, we get the opportunity to move forward on what we need to let go of. And that is actually showing up as our boundaries. Our boundaries are not doing us... The greatest of good it, they're actually kind of hampering us uh, in a way right now being too restrictive where that eight of sky is so pay attention to what boundaries you have whether that's boundaries um with yourself with um your say your routines your boundaries with other people how you interact um pay attention to those so look at your boundaries for the day and the way your walls are, your boundaries are, are they supportive? Are they nurturing? Do, do they let you feel inspired at all? Or do you feel restricted? Because once you make the choice to move boundaries, to let down certain walls, it frees up that space to let all that creativity, that nurturing energy, that support come back in. You're able to express yourself you're able to nurture yourself it's like you go from pouring out of a cup continuously to being able to fill your own cup again so does your walls your boundaries where they are now do you feel connected or disjointed do you feel um connected to your intuition to your sense of inspiration, your muse, 
Um, do you feel whole or is it disjointed somewhere? Because once you start looking at where that hiccup is, that that's where you need to start deep diving. You need to go within and find that area where that boundary is, what's creating it, and shift it. And don't forget to show yourself a little bit of compassion, support yourself on, on this way um, to get from point A to point B. And now that I said that about freeing up energy and showing yourself compassion, hold on, I'm going to double check the astrology because this is the 12th moon in Scorpio, trines, Neptune and Pisces, strong compassion, be there, yeah, be there for those you care for, listen and give understanding. Okay. So yes, be compassionate and give understanding to yourself. Go within and listen to where there's not a connection, where you're not integrated wholly, where everything is disjointed. Pay attention to that. I'm going to take one last peek here, make sure that we have no synchronicities that I have missed. I don't think there is, but let me double check. does not appear so um everything adds up to 72 which reduces to nine spirituality and completion you can literally get back your own inner connection as i said this reads as a block so freeing up a block getting connection back whether that's connection to source connection to your higher self connection to your muses um any place where you feel connected, supported, or given inspiration, as it were. It also helps you probably to maybe close down a cycle potentially for the day um, that you might have been struggling with for the longest time. All right, my lovelies, I hope some of this resonated for you. If it does, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.